Gerson, welcome to Minnesota. Jim, thank you very much. <laughs> How much has your life changed since last Wednesday? I couldn't even tell you because I don't even know what day it is or where I'm at at this point, but no, it's been exciting change uh, to realize the opportunity that's at hand here uh, in Minnesota, something that I'm very excited about. And so how excited are you about the opportunity to kind of bring back Minnesota Timberwolves basketball into, you know, relevancy again? I always saw this as a sleeping giant, you know, a, a place that values basketball, good ownership uh, and resources. It's just putting it together. To be fair, in this league, it's hard to win. It's hard to line everything up. Uh, but I do believe if you do the right things consistently, you can build a foundation to have sustainable success. How do you want this team to play? You know, for me, the modern game um, is, is very impactful. And I say that because it impacts the roster, uh, it impacts strategy, it impacts coaching. I love a fast, an efficient, strategic game, the pace and the space. And I think offensively, the way the game is structured now, there's a lot of opportunity. We always have to stay a step ahead. You know, we want to establish a program here where we're going to maximize our roster, but at the same time, we want to play smart and efficient whether that's offensively, defensively, whatever shape, form it takes. We just want to be able to have a competitive advantage and that's what we're going to work towards. I think that you're going to be challenged. You're talking about a Minnesota Timberwolves team who's been bottom five uh, in, in three-point shooting field goal attempts in the NBA. How do you change that? Uh, it, it's, a co it, it's a piece of the puzzle that's collaboration. You know, not only from the coach's side, but from the personnel side. We've got to get guys that can play that system, or we've got to develop our players here. So player development is going to be a big part of it. Shot selection is something that's important, uh, but in a strategic way. We want to put our players in the best position to be successful. And part of that is understanding who they are and what are the areas that are most successful for them. But we also want to diminish their weaknesses. How can we make them more efficient? How can we make them more productive? And that takes time. But I do believe alignment and philosophy are going to help impact the way we play. 17 years with the Houston Rockets. I think everybody kind of wants the, the Houston Rockets secret sauce. It's kind of like Spurs, <laughs> Spurs dust. You know, the secrets, what's the secret sauce in Houston? You, you, you know what, what the secrets have been? is questioning the norm. Why do we do what we do at any level? in the organization. Let's find a better way to do it. And that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna explore, uh, we're gonna look at everything that's being done, and we're just gonna find better ways to do it with better people, better processes, and more importantly, the best players we can find on this roster. You said that you're not an analytics guy, you're a systems guy. And so th I think overall, I think that's one thing I think that this organization is needed is, is, is organizational systems that are high level and work. What does that mean to you? So big picture, this is not a one-person job. You know, you do it with a lot of talented individuals. You do it with a lot of different valuable perspectives and approaches. Every situation is different. Every market is different, has different resources, different strengths, different weaknesses. My role in terms of leadership is understanding the environment and being able to apply what we have here to allow us to be successful. And that's alignment. That's a strong philosophy. Uh, that's the ability to maximize the players on your roster. That means being aggressive in the draft, in free agency, in trades. Uh, we have an owner that's very focused on winning and wants to do things the right way, and he's going to give us the support to make sure that whenever there's an opportunity to go get great players, we're going to be involved in whatever shape or form that is, but also to be strategically a step ahead in terms of where we're at and where we want to be. And that takes good people, with great process, execution, making sure our foundation is strong, making sure we're not making mistakes on the bottom end so we can grow this organization into a sustainable model over time that does the right things at every opportunity. You've mentioned this word alignment multiple times within this interview. What does it mean to you? It's, it's a critical factor. Uh, the reality is this league is too smart. Uh, there's too many good competitors. Uh, there's a monster. Uh, in the Bay Area that's, that's got it figured out and has had a ton of success. You don't have a fighting chance if you can't focus all your efforts, focus all your resources, and from top to bottom. It's ownership, it's the front office, it's coaching, it's the players, it's the corporate side, it's all your staff. You've got to be laser focused into the same philosophy. And it's not easy, it doesn't happen overnight. Uh, but there's got to be commitment. And that's something that I felt here from Ethan. I think 
Uh, his vision is very similar to my vision. We want to be world class. We want to bring a championship to this city. We want to do things that have never been done. And when you have partners that have the same values, that have the same visions, and are willing to commit to this goal, it gives you a fighting chance, and that's what we're going to have here in Minnesota. Well, we are so happy to have you here, Kirsten. Uh, what do you have to say to the fan base here in Minnesota? To me, the focus is going to be actions over words. Uh, but what they're going to see and the tangible change they're going to feel is an organization that's aligned from top to bottom, strong philosophy, a modern approach. And you're going to see us walking as an organization hand in hand to accomplish championship objectives in this city.